All right, friends. So let's get ready for our warm up. We have Think It Through Thursday. And Think It Through Thursday, today we're going to be comparing sets of objects. Okay, so we're going to be figuring out which set has more, which set is the least. And if we took some away, would it still be more or would it still be the least? All right, let's look at what we have. So we have some lollipops, we have some pizza, and we have uh, some donuts. Okay, now by looking at each group, okay, looking at the sets of objects, which set of objects has the most or has more or has greater? Is it the lollipops, the pizza, or the donuts? It is the donuts, okay? The donuts has the most or it has more or it's greater, okay? It's greater than the set of pizzas and is greater than the set of lollipops because it's more, okay? Now I'm going to introduce a new word called least, Okay, least. And least is the same as less, meaning it's not as much, but you have to find out which one has the smallest amount. Okay, so we know it's not donuts because donuts has the most. So it's either the lollipops or the pizza. So which one has the least or the smallest amount? Is it the lollipops or the pizza? Yes, it's the pizza. Yes, the pizza has the least amount because it has the smallest amount. It only has two pieces, okay? And it's not the lollipops because the lollipops are more than the pizza, okay? There are more lollipops than pizza, okay? Now, what if I do this? What if I take away three lollipops, okay? Which group has the least now, meaning the smallest amount? Now the lollipops is the least because the pizza, there are two, okay? And the lollipop is only one. So there's more pizza than it is lollipops. So when I took the three lollipops away, the lollipops became the least, okay? So remember, least means the smallest amount, okay? All right, so get ready to listen up for your lesson. Make sure you're paying attention.